unemployed white collar workers tend to suffer from long term unemployment. Workers making $100,000 or more make up about 10% of jobs in the economy. Mark Sanadella is the CEO of TheLadders.com, a website that caters to the high end job seekers. Mark, welcome to you. Hey, thanks so much for having me. First, your thoughts on the jobs report, the broader labor market picture. How weak does it continue to be? It was disappointing relative to what expectations were. We were hoping to right. see 150 to 200,000 lost. Uh, the actual number came in 263,000. Kept in contact, context, though, we're seeing that the overall job loss number is down from three quarters of a million earlier this year per month to a quarter of a million uh, at this point, and the unemployment rate only increased a tenth of a point. I think what we're seeing is that the floodwaters of this once in a century storm have uh, fi are finally beginning to slow down and next year hopefully we'll be see them begin to recede. So would you say then we're bouncing along the bottom or you're fairly optimistic perhaps? We're bouncing along the bottom. We'll, we'll continue to see decay in number of uh, in the jobs loss number and I believe the unemployment rate uh, is expected to continue to trend higher. We're beginning to see companies here at TheLiars.com uh, come back to us and say, well, we've cut a lot here in 2009. Now for 2010, we're looking for growth in this area or in this area. So is the outcome of today's jobs report and your forecast consistent with trends for the high-end job market? Well, the high-end job market is reflective of the overall job market. Yeah, if you're going to hire leaders, uh, obviously they're going to need somebody to lead. Uh, we see the same uh, statistics and trends reflected in the high end that is uh, reflected in the overall report, which is uh, you know, continuing, slightly increasing uh, unemployment. Uh, and the trend on the long term unemployed, uh, we do see that also. So talk to me about the ladders.com, your website. What was, um, what, tell me about its inception. Why did you have the idea? Sure. So I was a SVP at hotjobs.com. Senior vice president. Uh, senior vice president mm -hmm. at hotjobs.com, uh, the number two job site uh, at the time that it was bought by Yahoo. And that's a general job board. And what we heard from our customers, folks like Goldman Sachs here in New York, was that, hey, it's great. You send us a lot of resumes, and it's much cheaper than the newspapers. But the problem is when we put a really good job up there, uh, director of finance job or a VP of marketing job, we'll get inundated with spam resumes, you know, dishwashers, student drivers, things like that. Uh, can you do anything to help us out? And at Hot Jobs, we never got around to it. But then six years ago, I started the ladders to focus just on 100K plus jobs. That's the top 10% of the jobs in the market. So you spend a lot of and time weeding out potential workers. We, we, uh, well, we charge people, uh, job seekers, 30 bucks a month. And that cover charge serves uh, the same purpose of a cover charge anywhere. It, Make sure that the people on the inside feel that they belong there. Okay, so what are you hearing then from clients who are placing ads with you looking for these higher end positions? Um, certainly through the first half of this year, we heard a lot less uh, hiring, hiring freezes throughout the first quarter. Now here in Q3, we're starting to hear um, you know, new initiative or, hey, we're looking for some growth in 2010 in these areas where we're competitive. Uh, you know, I remember the day that AT&T announced a 4% staff cut. This, that very same day, they posted 25 jobs with us in their wireless division. So while some areas are shrinking, other areas are growing. And where do you see the most growth right now? What industries? Uh, most growth right now is healthcare. Uh, obviously a big story out there, aerospace and defense, and actually financial services. And there are two parts to the financial services. One is a lot of accounting and controls uh, positions all the way across the country. But we are also seeing in the uh, greater New York area, uh, financial services, the uh, you know, agents and uh, bankers and brokers are taking advantage of the TARP hampered banks to start up little boutiques and we're seeing a lot of those hiring actually. So New York is improving. What other regions in the country are showing some job growth? Uh, the top regions are uh, Washington DC and Baltimore. Obviously a lot of government uh, driven uh, growth there. And then uh, as we looked at our numbers for September, it turned out actually uh, Seattle, San Francisco, San Diego, the West Coast. And uh, a lot of biotech and a lot of uh, software uh, jobs out there and particularly in sales. So I, I guess people are looking to make 2010 a great year. So given what you're seeing, your outlook, what advice would you have for somebody coming up through college, uh, preparing themselves? You know, it looks like a new landscape for the workforce right now. Uh, it's a completely new landscape. My advice to somebody coming out of college is the same as always been. Find something you love doing. Uh, otherwise, you're going to... Really don't hit. cater to the market and where the demand is healthcare as you were describing? Uh, you obviously have to, you have, you have to be cognizant of right. what's available out there. If you really love uh, being a buggy whip manufacturer, well, there's no uh, positions in that uh, area uh, today. But you know, find the area that you love within healthcare or within uh, financial services, whether it's marketing or sales or trading or uh, you know, R&D. A very diplomatic response. Mark Senadella, many thanks to you. Thanks so very much for having me. Mark is uh, with theladders.com, the CEO there.